Would you rather have one million dollars or one cent that doubles each day for 30 days? It seems like one million dollars would be so much more than one cent doubling each day for 30 days since one cent is such a small amount of money. But let's take a closer look. And for this problem, I am assuming at time zero where the starting amount is one cent and then it begins doubling on day one. So if one cent doubles on day one, the total amount is two cents. On day two, it's four cents. On day three, it's eight cents and so on. Notice that there are 15 days of doubling. The total amount is only $327.68, which of course is much less than $1 million. But then looking at day 16 through day 30, notice after 26 days, the amount is still less than $1 million. It's $671,000. $88.64, but then notice on day 27, the balance is over $1 million. It's $1,342,177.28. And then finally, after 30 days of doubling, the total balance is $10,737,418.24, which is more than 10 times $1 million. So it's a lot better to have one cent that doubles each day for 30 days. Now I do want to mention, I have seen other explanations where the balance is one cent on day one and then begins to double from there. But in this case, it actually only doubles 29 times, not 30 times. And the way it's worded, that it doubles each day for 30 days, I would assume it doubles 30 times, not 29 times. If it only doubled 29 times, notice how, it's still more than $1 million though. It's $5,368,709.12. Let's look at two common equations that can be used to model this growth. One equation we can use to model the doubling of the one cent is the exponential growth equation, y equals a times b to the power of t, where a is the initial or starting amount, the base b is equal to one plus r, where r is the growth rate as a decimal, and t is time. So in our case, a is one cent, the starting amount, which in dollars would be 0.01 dollars. Because the amount is doubling each day, when something doubles, it increases by 100%, and therefore r is 100%, which as a decimal is equal to one. And therefore the base b is equal to one plus one, and the exponent is t, which is time in days. Performing substitution for a and b, we have y equals 0 0.01 times two to the power of t, but t is 30 days, giving us y equals 0 0.01 times two to the power of 30, where y is the amount after 30 days. Another common equation would be the compound interest formula, A equals P times the quantity one plus R divided by N raised to the power of NT, where A is the amount after time T, P is our principal or starting amount, R is the percent of growth or growth rate per unit of time T, N is number of compounds per unit of time, and T is time. So in our case, T is time in days, and therefore T is equal to 30, P, the principal starting amount, is $0.01. Again, because the amount is doubling each day, R is 100%, which is equal to one. And then because the time is in days, and it's doubling once per day, the number of compounding periods per day is one, meaning N is equal to one. So subbing the values into our compound interest formula, notice how we get exactly the same result on the right side, 0.01 times two to the power of 30. And if we go to the calculator, of course we get the same amount of $10,737,418.24. So I like this problem because it really emphasizes the importance of starting to save early and the power of compound interest. If we go back to our table, notice that the first 26 days, the amount is still less than $1 million, but the remaining four days of doubling makes a huge difference, resulting in an amount more than 10 times $1 million. Thank you for watching.